actually we will do a sleeper cab where we can send drivers out for multiple days at a time as we expand the charging network. Get ready to witness the dawn of a new era in trucking as Tesla unveils its sleeper cab semi where innovation meets comfort on the open road. Join us as we unravel the shock in price, hidden features and the potential game changer for long haul drivers everywhere. Are you ready to delve into the electrifying world of Tesla's latest groundbreaking venture? In a landscape where long haul trucking safety is paramount, Tesla has set its sights on revolutionizing the industry with the introduction of its sleeper cab semi. Imagine a truck designed not just for transportation, but for the comfort and well-being of its drivers during these long, demanding journeys. As the demand for sleeper berths and heavy-duty vehicles continues to surge, Tesla's strategic move is not just a response to market trends, but a game-changing solution to tackle driver fatigue head-on. But why the sudden shift in strategy for Tesla, a company known for its innovation in electric vehicles? Join us as we reveal the hidden features, the staggering price implications, and the potential impact of Tesla's sleeper cab semi on the future of transportation. Buckle up because this is not just another ride, it's a glimpse into the future of trucking. Before starting the video, if you are new to our channel, do subscribe to it and also press the bell icon so you will never miss any updates in the future. Let's start the video. Fatigue is a significant factor contributing to long-haul truck accidents, ranking 7th in frequency. Tesla, the company's head of engineering, has recognized this and has developed a sleeper cap for long-haul trucks. The company offers two versions of the semi for widespread use and testing, the 300 miles and 500 miles variants, which do not meet the standard for overnight operations. According to statistics from 2023, there are 1.2 million long-haul trucks in the United States equipped with sleeper berths, accounting for 67% of the total long-haul truck volume nationwide. The Tesla Semi's unique design features only two seats, one for the center driving position and one behind for a backup driver, making it an ideal place for drivers to relax and save money on accommodation expenses. Long-haul truck drivers often have to drive for weeks at a time, earning only $1,500 a week week without a rest stop within 200 miles. Additionally, there is very little incentive for drivers to leave the driver's cabin during the 30-minute break or if they may split their rest time just 15 minutes. While some contend that selecting and installing a sleeper berth during a driver's allotted 30-minute break is pointless, the Tesla semi-autonomously can recharge 70% of its battery, allowing it to function on lengthier trips exceeding 500 miles, especially considering that Tesla might eventually offer a long-range version of this vehicle with a bullet shape. Truck drivers' health would be greatly improved by having the option to recharge their batteries while they are sleeping. This option is crucial if Tesla is to establish itself as a leader in the transportation market, even though it is not required for the majority of shorter trips that don't last more than a few days. Aside from that, a 500-mile range Tesla Semi is presently on sale for $180,000, though in actuality, their costs may reach $250,000. So how much would the Tesla Semi cost if the sleeper cap were added? Similar to Tesla's recently released models, which don't follow the original claim and are all priced at their highest level during the first few days of debuts. Over time, prices will progressively drop to create market stability. As a result, the cost of a Tesla Semi truck with a sleeper berth likely change dramatically in the future. In contrast, the cost of a semi will decrease over time as a result of Tesla's ambitions to increase production facilities and scale up the infrastructure for charging them. According to Tesla's cost research, you might potentially save up to $200,000 on a vehicle that can drive 300,000 miles. Because of electrification, consumers would save an average of $250,000 on fuel and maintenance expenses. Given that electric vehicles have fewer components than diesel engines and are more widely available, electricity costs less than half as much as fuel. Tesla began production of the Tesla Semi in the late 2022 after years of delay. The company expanded Gigafactory Nevada to manufacture large quantities of the vehicle, collaborating with Panasonic to deploy new battery production capabilities. The plant is expected to produce 105 gigawatt hour of batteries per year and 150 gigawatt hours per year upon completion. Tesla has created 70 Tesla semi trucks for user experience gathering and is increasing production outside Giga Nevada. To meet Elon Musk's goal of 100,000 semi units per year, Tesla needs a sleeper berth version. 
Tesla Semi tractors weigh 25,000 pounds due to their massive battery pack, which can significantly increase their operating range. However, over 80% of US routes are less than 250 miles long, making sleeper cab versions feasible. Tesla plans to build a new factory in Germany, Gigafactory Berlin, with many models featuring sleeper cab cabins. This move aligns with European countries' ambitious climate goals of reducing greenhouse gas emissions by at least 55% by 2030. The Tesla Semi is currently undergoing trial production in Nevada, and Elon Musk revealed that the next vehicle, Redwood, will be manufactured at Giga Berlin. The factory aims to increase production capacity from 500,000 units to 1 million units a year. Tesla is also researching and improving battery technology with battery supplier Panasonic Energy considering investing up to $4 billion in its Kansas plant to produce 4,680 batteries for the Tesla Cybertruck and next-generation vehicles. Tesla and Panasonic jointly own a facility in Nevada, with Tesla being their principal client. With this extra capacity, Panasonic might be able to create advanced 4680 batteries, a kind of cylindrical lithium-ion battery that has five times the capacity of standard 2170 batteries. Greater capacity generally translates into lighter vehicles and fewer batteries needed per vehicle. What will happen to the trailer size on the Tesla Semi? The wheelbase of the semi-tractor as it stands now is 13 feet long, 8.6 feet wide, and 13 feet high a little bit shorter than the Frider Cascadia 126, which has a sleeper cabin. As a result, if the truck had a compact berth, it would have to lengthen its tractor or turn the area behind the tractor cab into a sleeping compartment. Additionally, the truck's proportions must be somewhat altered when it enters the European market to meet the regulations there. Tractor-trailer combinations are permitted a minimum of 48 feet in length in the United States, subject to state rules. Operating efficiently in Europe with strict weight size regulations has presented a challenge for Tesla's electric truck as it needs to increase load capacity significantly reduce emissions and most importantly incorporate those sleeper compartments. However, the maximum length limit according to regulations in Europe is 61.5 feet which seems to require Tesla to reconsider its prominent bullet-shaped design to enter the market. What if Tesla's fully autonomous driving technology advanced further in the transportation sector? Similar to other AI products such as ChatGPT and Grok AI programs, watchers of Tesla's development are examining the future to assess the purchase rate or the proportion of Tesla buyers who would buy Tesla FSDA. While many looking abroad are concentrating on robot taxis, we see something that is more valuable and has a quicker transition path. That truck is a robot. According to stock expert Gene Muster, just 5% of recent Tesla purchasers buy or subscribe to FSD. By 2026, if that percentage rises to 20%, the extra 15% of subscribers will generate around $1.1 billion in revenue and almost $1 billion in net profits. By 2026, rising adoption is predicted to increase net income by almost 8%. Benefits to net income would be approximately 15% by 2027 and 21% by 2028. The fact that Tesla will have a clear introduction to China, Asia and Europe is another feature of the FSD software's rapid learning. Furthermore, Tesla might encourage more former Tesla customers to submit FSD applications. Therefore, combining it with insurance might attain an acceptance rate of 50% or more if its software keeps getting better and becomes safer than the majority of human drivers. Tesla's fully autonomous Tesla bot is a success. While this autonomous driving system and FSD have improved the driving experience and increased safety, they still require drivers to pay attention and occasionally interfere. It may yet take two or three more years to reach full autonomous driving levels. Nonetheless, Autopilot and FSD are in use in the US, Canada, Europe and Asia. More than 10 billion miles have been driven on Autopilot and more than 320 million miles have been driven on FSD beta. Currently, Tesla's FSD beta is adding over 50 million miles every month. It appears that the computer power needed to develop artificial intelligence AI is growing exponentially along with travel speed. In many ways, robot trucking will be more influential than robot taxis. The global supply chain would alter if all 30 million heavy trucks were driven by replacement drivers. This is a reasonable approximation though, only if everyone is moving in that direction. In the end, supply chain transportation expenses may drop by more than 80%. When moving products, the speed limit may rise from 55 miles per hour to 110 miles per hour or higher. Furthermore, robot trucks might operate non-stop for 23 hours a day, stopping only to refuel. 
As was previously noted, the AI team at Tesla recently revealed that drive-in footage on YouTube can be used to train this software. Thus, the system is not dependent on the location of the cameras. Additional cameras and self-driving computers might be added to a $180,000 Tesla Semi for about $20,000 to $30,000 or $5,000 a year plus hardware. This implies that current fleets could be swiftly modified to eliminate drivers to generate investment returns in 4 or 12 months and $5,000 annually applied to all 30 million vehicles would equal $150 billion annually. This amount would exceed Tesla's present profit by more than 10 times. Additionally, once the technology is sufficiently reliable, 70% of drivers can be substituted when a safe truck driving system is in place, fleet owners won't hesitate to replace human drivers. This will happen, but until global electrification is achieved at least, truck drivers will continue to be in high demand and a 1000 horsepower electric truck with a sleeper cab will continue to be a top priority. What are your thoughts on Tesla's design plan for the sleeper cab semi? How do you foresee the potential impact of robot truck replacement shaping the future of transportation? From the surprising price details to how it could transform the way goods are moved around the world, Tesla's new truck is set to shake things up. Thanks for watching, stay tuned for more updates on the future of transportation. Until next time, drive safe and keep dreaming big.